so what was it like when you were here? Like, what were you? You're going to class. You're doing. Yeah, we won't class, spend too much time on it. No, no. Class. The class was a hurdle. Class was a hurdle for me. Than it was something that I was trying to extract information or or knowledge out of. You know, um, it was a hurdle for me because I knew what I wanted, right? And when you know what you want, you can kind of automate a bunch of things in, you know, in your purview, right? And so it's like. Class was a hurdle for me because it's like it didn't matter, right? It, like no NFL coach is worried about what grade I got in sociology at all, right? And I recognize that. So the thing is, it's like, well, then class is like I, I, I want to do whatever I need to do in order to facilitate me playing on Saturday. So if that means I need to show up to class this week because Joe, Joe Paterno is checking classes this week and I, and I heard it from one of the managers who comes to one of our classes and checks, well, then I'm going to make sure I'm going to show up. I mean, I may not be attentive, I may not be awake, right? But I definitely will be there because I have to do whatever I have to do to facilitate me being there. And I think that's one thing that, you know, I didn't take advantage of, but also at the same time, it's like, should I be taking advantage of that or should I be taking advantage of every opportunity to do what I want to do, which is play in the NFL? And so there's a lot of discrepancies in being a student athlete, um, you know, in between what's presented um, you know, to come to university to be a student athlete, you know, we're students first, we're students first. And, and I really think that people should be. And this is not a fight against, you know, um, this, is, this is no, this is, I'm not trying to, you know, drag the football program's name in the dirt because it's done more for me than any other institution has ever had, you know, and it's given me a tremendous amount of opportunity. But sometimes there's this cognitive dissonance between, you know, what we say we're here doing and what our actions actually are and what the actual social currency is of a university setting how did, when did you become a thinker like when did you when did when did you have a moment when you said well um, i want to be a thinker like I, I think i always felt like that but these conversations aren't facilitated by the locker room right so it's also when you're a part of a team sport it's as much as you can do for the team to for the wins and loss columns and i respected that and i pledged myself to that but then when things would get into uh, you know, philosophical or social arguments within the locker room. The thing is, it's like, it, it, it's, you become more of an impediment. And I think the more that I wanted to have those kinds of conversations within the context of a locker room, I realized how much of a, an impediment I was becoming for team success or within the context of the defensive line, you know, that I would abstract f so far from you know, what the blocking schemes are of the Tennessee Titans, right? So the thing is, it's like, well, I want to keep talking about, you know, structural functionalism. And there was eight guys surrounding me chewing tobacco, looking at me like I was, you know, some fucking space cadet. So, so the thing was, is that, like, I think I've always wanted to think. My father's a, a thinker, but his downfall is that he, he thinks probably too much where he hasn't, you know, he, he, he hasn't worked or really moved from the couch where he watches tons of YouTube videos and reads books for about 10 years. But there's something that you can really, you know, extract from that. And it's a lot of knowledge. It may not be just like, hey, dad, how do I run a business? It'd be like, hey, dad, what, what did you think of uh, this verse in the Bible at this point in time? And, you know, what C.S. Lewis said about it, you know, and he'd be able to give you stuff like that. But yeah. I think I've always been a thinker. But since I ended football, I've been able to read more than I've ever read. I've been able to, uh, uh, the money that I've made from playing professional football uh, gives me the space to be able to sit there and, and take five months and read Joseph Campbell, you know, to read Hero with the Thousand Faces, to read Jordan Peterson's Maps of Meaning, to read all of these different types of books, Ayn Rand, and, and deduce from them and start to make sociological claims, which I think is actually more spiritual than we think. Yeah.